Hello everyone, this is Mr. Sar coming to you live from Mr. Sar's music zone and I hope you like my cloudy skies and my green background because I'm in the country and I thought it fitting to write this video to, <laughs> to make this video with all the background noises and all of that. I love it. So today I want to talk about <clears throat> chords and specifically tetra chords or triads. Now at your pattern if you will. <clears throat> Usually our chords are based on thirds. So we have two types of thirds. So for example, a major triad comprises of a major third followed by a minor third. So for example, if we are in C and I want a C triad or a C major chord, we'd have C to E, which is the first third, major third, and then we have E to G, which is our minor third. And that would be our C major triad. Of course, they are the inversion, so you can have root position, first inversion, and second inversion. So all that is moving the bass up, right? So your root position would be C, E, G. Your first inversion would be E, G, C. And your second inversion would be G, C, E. Of course, the same is true. Now, to get a minor triad is the reverse of the major. So we're going to start with a minor third, then we add a major third. So for example, in C major, for it to be a C minor triad, now we have a minor third. So we have C, E, G. Sorry, C, D, E, sorry. C, D, E, that's our major third, but we want it to be a minor third. So what we have to do, make it smaller. So we now have an E flat, which is the lower the E. So we have C to E flat, so minor third. And then we need another third from that, which is going to be our major. So from E flat to G, so it's E, F, G. So E flat to G, that becomes our major third. So our C minor triad with now be C, E flat, G. That's our minor. Now our augmented triads is when we have two major thirds. So using C as a starting point again, a major third from C would be E. Yes, you're right. C, D, E. E is our major third. And now we need another major third. So a major third from E now would be E, F, G. E to G will be a minor third. So to make it major, we have to increase it. So now it becomes G sharp. So an augmented triad now becomes C, E, G sharp. And the flip is through, is true for diminished. So with C, we need a minor third, which is C to E flat. And then another minor third from that. Now we need to E flat to G flat. And that would be our types of triads that we do have. So we have major, C, E, G, minor, C, E flat, G, augmented, C, E, G sharp, diminished, C, E flat, G flat. The letters will still remain the same, so we still have to have a third. A lot of people use sub, um, substitutions. So instead of, um, let's say for example, instead of G flat, they would say F sharp. But if we do have C, E, and then F, F sharp, F would be a fourth. So we have to be careful of those. We have to stay true to the letters and true to the numbers. So that's how we get our triads. That's how we build them, and they're all in. So for quick information, Within the major scale, we have three major triads, three minor triads, and one diminished. See you next time.